Oh. Here I have Similac Pro Total Comfort. My daughter, a bottle in one ginormous math problem. I want to thank all you people who are hoarding the formula. Why? That's why I have to do this math problem. You are the problem, but that's a different story. In this container, we have 630 grams of powder. I need 8.4 grams for every two fluid ounces of water if I'm gonna feed my daughter. We feed my daughter one bottle of this a day with six fluid ounces of water. How long will my Similac last? before I have to go back out into the crazy world. All right, so if I'm solving this quarantine math problem, right? Um, the first thing I always do uh, here at Quarantine Math when we write a state, or when we do a word problem is we write a statement, right? So um, the container, will last, right, blank days. So when I go back and I'm listening to the video again, I wanna be looking for anything about days and anything about the container, right? Um, so typically, if I'm doing a real word problem, I would identify, um, I would be circling things, but because it's a video problem, because all the paper is out, because people took it all, because toilet paper is out, now they're using paper, um, we just gotta write it down on our, screen, right? So there are 630 grams total, right, in the container. I know that it was 8.4 grams, right, for every uh, fluid ounce. So you can kind of even write that as a ratio, even though you learned that in sixth grade. Some of you might know it, right? So 8.4 grams um, per two fluid ounces, right? And then I know that uh, one bottle was six fluid ounces, okay? And so I wanna know how many days is my Similac gonna last to my daughter, right? How long before I have to go out and brave the world and sneak into a store to get some more Similac? Um, so the first thing I wanna do, right, is I wanna figure out, okay, I wanna draw a visual model. And so here's my visual model. We use tape diagrams here at Quarantine Math. Maybe you're familiar with them, maybe you're not but you can really do that any way you want, right? And so it's a bad tape diagram, but that's okay, it's quarantine, who cares? Uh, so we have 360 grams total, and I know that I'm gonna be splitting this up into equal days, right? And so I'm gonna make this equal groups, and I know one, two, three, dot, dot, dot. I wanna know how many days is my 630 grams gonna last? So. What I want to do first is figure out, okay, how many grams am I using in one day? Um, and so you could do a separate tape diagram. You could use ratios. I'm going to use a T-chart to do that. You can use really whatever visual way you want to do if your teacher or parents have taught you something different. That's okay, right? So here I have my grams over here on this side, and I have my fluid ounces um, or flows, if you accidentally write them too close together, right? Fluid ounces. So I have 8.4 grams for two fluid ounces, or flows. And then I have, I'm gonna have 16.8 grams, because I'm just continuing to add over here, right? For another two fluid ounces. I'll do a better job there. And if I keep going here, um, again, I don't wanna try to add this in my head, so I'm just gonna kinda do it over here real quick. I mean, I got plenty of time, I'm in quarantine. What else am I gonna do, okay? I'm gonna drop it like it's hot. hot. Um, if you do not know how to add decimals, please check out our decimal song. You'll see the link up here um, if you need to go back and review that. And so here I have 14, 15, regroup two, or regroup the 10 to the 10th place. So I have 25, right, and two tenths. So I have 25 and two tenths grams. And that's gonna be, if I do another two or fluid ounces, so that'd be six total. And I know that it told me that I do one bottle a day. So here's one bottle. So six fluid ounces every day. I'm gonna be using 25 and two tenths grams. And I don't wanna continue to do that forever because it might take me a while. Um, and so I have my tape diagram set up here. Let me get rid of my math. 
All right, there we go. So now I have my tape diagram set up. Um, if you don't know how to do tape diagrams, check out our other videos. We have lots of videos for that. And so I know what my equation is saying. I have blank groups of 25 and 2 tenths is going to equal 630. So I'm trying to, f trying to figure out how many days of 25 and 2 tenths can I make or out of 630 grams, right? So this is really a multiplication equation by looking for my missing factor, which means I'm going to use my fact family knowledge to rewrite this as 630 divided by 25 and 2 tenths equals blank days. So here's the math I have to do to solve this. I have to do 630 divided by 25 and 2 tenths days. So let me get a blank um, paper to solve that. And I'll write it up here, okay, divide by 25 and 2 tenths days equal, or uh, 2 tenths per day equals blank days. And what I like to do, just to double check this, I like to write a blank division equation and label it so I can make sure it makes sense. Um, so I have 630 grams, and I'm putting 25.2 grams in each day for each day. And if that is my divisor, my divisor and quotient always work together. Again, if you need some extra help with this, check out our Instruct the Beat song about division. You'll see that right here. And our playlist, you can also see that link right here of how to divide decimals and whole numbers and what it really means. So lots of stuff on Instruct the Beats to help you out with your quarantine math today. Please check it out. I know when I'm dividing my uh, with decimals, I cannot have a decimal in my divisor okay so what I want to do here is I'm gonna move my decimal to the right and the decimal song again link right here no shameless self-promotion and during quarantine am I right um, we want to slide in the decimal whatever we do or in the divisor whatever we do in the divisor we also do to the dividend so I'm gonna slide here to make it a whole number and then I'm also gonna have to slide a place value here which means I'm gonna have to add a zero now, really what you're doing is you're multi multiplying both of them by 10 and using your powers of 10, okay? Um, the slide slide is just a shortcut, but in quarantine math, you literally have nothing to do all day other than math, so you might as well learn why it really works, right? You're multiplying both numbers by 10, therefore keeping your expression um, the same ratio between the dividend and the divisor. So now, I am just dividing 6,300 divided by 252. So this is no longer a fifth grade math problem, right? Because it, we're dividing by a three digit divisor, but that's okay because this is the challenge quarantine math for fifth graders. Um, if you need a little bit easier, check out our other video post for today. And so here we have, uh, what, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make an easy multiple sheet Okay, again, check out our uh, division playlist if you want to. Some of you might just be able to kind of multiply this part in your head. I just go ahead and I do all the work right here as I go. Um, and that way I just have it and I don't have to think about it anymore, right? So I have uh, 756. That's too big. I can't fit 252 into zero. Make sure you put your zero here as a place value, um, not a holder, but to show you don't have anything for the thousands place. If you start by putting your two here, that two's in the thousands, and that's not what you're trying to say. You also can't fit 252 into 63. You can fit 252 into 630 twice. And our steps for multiplying here at Quarantine Math, how many groups multiply, subtract, bring down? Again, shameless self-promotion. Check out our standard algorithm division song here. And when I multiplied that, I got 504. And so I'm going to use my subtraction. There's also a video on that, am I right? Uh, and I have 126, and then I need to bring down my zero. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep going over here and make sure I make my easy multiple sheet uh, correct. So I have 1,008, and then I'm gonna add another group of 252. Oh, sorry, that was my fourth group. I like to circle it and label how many groups it is. We got my six, my two, that's it, there we go. Um, and my one, and oh look, that fits perfectly. Um, and so 252 goes into 1,260, or sorry, 1,260, you can uh, do five groups of that. When you multiply, you get exactly 1,260. You subtract, you get zero, and you are done because you have a digit over each digit in your dividend. 
And so my baby girl can eat for 25 days. If that's the answer you got, congratulations. You have solved the first quarantine math problem. Please like and subscribe. We'll be posting one of these every single day because I have nothing else to do. I'm trying to hide from my three-year-old because he likes to hit me and pull my beard. And I would like my beard to last the entire quarantine time. All right? This has been day one of Quarantine Math on March 16th, 2020. Stay safe. Do math. I'm out.